And now let me jump into a demo. Uh, so this is a pre-recorded demo just for the sake of time. So uh, feel free to um, just sit back and watch this. So here we are in the Microsoft Teams app. This is a conversational AI bot that is accessible within Teams. You can access it either through the chat window, just like you talk to another person on your team, or you can access it as a Microsoft Teams app on the left menu bar right there. As for what this bot can do, it can do 40% of the average IT help desk. Uh, things like downloading software, handling hardware requests, um, you know, capturing support tickets, giving you the status of your tickets, any general questions, uh, like you know your monitor is blurry or something like that, and then of course resetting your, your network passwords. So of these tasks, that makes up about 40% of the IT help desk. And of course, this thing isn't just handling your requests. The purpose of this uh, AI help desk is actually to complete these tasks from end to end. So instead of taking a few days to, uh, for the IT desk to get back to you, uh, it's able to actually do this in minutes or even seconds in some cases. So let's go ahead and get started. Let me show you an example of something that's relevant today. So here I am asking for some new equipment for my work from home setup. As you can see, it gives me a display of all of the different types of equipment that is available from my organization, from laptops to monitors, all the way to keyboards. I can also be more specific if I just need a monitor. And it just shows me the monitors. Now let's move on to something like uh, downloading software. Sometimes organizations restrict what type of software that you can download. So let's take a look at that. Let's say I'm helping my friend do some, uh, autom some testing on their app and I need Google Chrome. And as you can see, Google Chrome is not authorized as a direct download until I get approval. So I can actually, this thing has a manager approval built in using Power Automate. So if I request manager approval, what happens is, is the flow bot actually will send me a notification since I'm set up as my own manager for this example. And then I can approve that, hit submit. And then the approval has been authorized and the link has been sent to the employee. So it's just that easy.